Oh hi there, I'm Clay, and today I'll be talking to you about math. Math is a horrible thing. Kids are doing it all over America, in and outside of school. The phenomenon is destroying America's youth, and it's tearing families apart. Why did the chicken cross the road? Math is confusing to many students. I don't know how we can survive in this environment. So today I'm going to introduce you to a few math heads. You gotta be very careful with this math head. He's a serious addict and we don't want to scare him off. So we're just going to creep up. Creep up. Just keep creeping. And creeper. You gotta stop it, man! Stop! Hold him down, Joe! Hold him Cut. down! Help! What's your name? Kazen Baker. Kazen Baker. How long have you been doing math? I, I think I started doing math around the ninth grade and my teacher handed it to me starting the year. Your teacher himself or herself handed you math? Yeah, herself. That's what this world has come to. And was it just addition and subtraction at that time? Uh, no, it was equations. Alright. And what have you worked yourself up to? Uh, polynomials. Oh, Lordy. He's gotten pretty far in his math addiction, I won't lie. Next he'll be finding the greatest common factor and such. Thanks. <laughs> math time! Show me how you kids are solving these nowadays. Uh. Yes. 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 Back off. Back off, man. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, he found the greatest common factor by breaking it off into two separate brackets and then found the factors of four. But three can't be divided up anymore into whole numbers. Kind of nervous, guys. It's my first undercover mission as a math dealer. And this is my product for the day. We're just going to go hit, hit up some random school and see if we have any... Uh, Math heads there. Let's do this. Hey, kid. Would you like some math? I would love to. Here, take this game right here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't let the cops see you. There was a tracker in that book, and we're going to catch this math head. See everything he knows. Yeah! We tracked my book back to this house. It would appear that the child is doing math right now. His parents so seem to be home, so we're just going to go straight up, calm the situation. <laughs> I made a noise to scare him. Their ears get very, very irritated after listening to math, and they just can't deal with it. Alright, we've caught this math head. Now let's just see what he was doing. Method. We're gonna see how he solves this with the ladder method. Go for it, champ. Don't stress out. Three, ten, two. He's obviously five, a pro. He's going pretty one, fast throughout this. One. Oh, uh, he's not a total pro. Give me the marker. As you can see, he messed up on the last one. This should be a five to make it a one. Basically, you divide this number by the prime factor. Basically, two. Good job. Go. Math is Go. math for you. Some kids today are using the rainbow method to do their math. This young math head, Kazen Baker, you might have seen him before in my videos. He's going to show us this rainbow method. Catch! That's the rainbow method? Yes. Finish it! So you take one. Color fleet! Okay! I want colors! Yay! One times twelve. Twelve. Colors! Need more color! 
vectors. That is the rainbow method. You use vectors of 12. You just keep on going down the line. Clay. My rehab program features many strict policies and punishments for math heads. Case and Baker here is gonna experience his first one. Three, I'm ready. two, one. Math sucks! <laughs> yeah! Rock on! Yeah, Kazen! Yeah! I can already feel myself getting off yeah. it! Punishment number two! Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. I am too cool for math. Math. Not even once. Hi, I'm Clay Ledyard. You may know me from such films as math, finding the greatest common factor. But I've moved on from my childish games. We're all the way to chapter 8.2 now. And I'm gonna teach you a little more about 